Psalm 66 and verse 1, the Bible says, Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lambs. Uh, let me just pause here for a moment. I, the Bible says, Make a joyful noise unto yeah. God. Amen. I, I, I want you to know God likes noise. Right. He, he likes noise, particularly the noise when his people. The people of God, we clap our hands and right. shout. Right. Amen. You may not feel anything, but God likes it when you Amen. do that with all your heart, soul, and strength. Amen. 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 We, we thank God that we can make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Verse 2. Sing forth the honor of his name and make his praise glorious. Go down to verse 6. It says, Oh, bless our God, ye people. Yes. And make the voice of his praise to be heard. We'll go down to verse 16. Psalm 66, verse 16. Amen. The Bible says, Come and hear, all ye that fear God, and I will declare what he have done for my soul. I will declare. I will declare. Amen. For what he have done for my soul. Father, we thank you tonight for the word of God. We thank you that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all. We ask for thank God. I just plead the blood of Jesus out throughout this service. God, touch the minds of your people. God, touch us, bless us. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus' name. You may clap your hands again while you are being seated. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. David said, come and hear all ye that fear God. And I will declare what he have done for my soul. I want to take a thought tonight that I want to entitle simply, why should I declare the word of God? Amen. Why should I declare? The word of God. You know, the news lines of our, our day, I mean, it, it, it's filled with articles uh, that, that expose the ills, the evils of our society. It exposes the stress upon families. It exposes the stress upon marriages. It exposes all that's happening from a negative perspective in our world. It exposes the, the bullying of, of children. It exposes the pressure to conform to liberal thinking, wars, fears, disease, and even death. And this environment that the media has portrayed has caused many individuals to step into an arena of depression, fear, stress, and hopelessness. But I thank God for the word. Yes. Amen. Amen. The Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. You will turn there. Amen. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The Bible says, for the word of God is quick and powerful, sharp, and in a two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and to the joints and marrow and he is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. I like the Amplified version of that same chapter and verse. Hebrews 4.12 in the Amplified it says, For the word of God is living and active and full of power making it operative, energizing, and effective. It is sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating as far as the division of the soul and spirit, the completeness of a person, and of both joints and marrow. In other words, the deepest parts of our nature, exposing and judging the very thoughts and intentions of the heart. Thank God for his word. But you need to know that the word of God is not only a book that God has given to us for encouragement in our walk, 
with him. But also the word of God is a weapon. It is a weapon that we can use against the enemy of our soul. Yeah, I thank God it is a book that encourages us. Have you ever been at a time where you were, at a, you were at a low point in your life? And you just began to read the word of God and the word began to encourage you. But not only is it a book of encouragement, this is a weapon. Somebody need to take their sword of the spirit and just wave it in the air. Thank God for the word. Amen. It is powerful. It is awesome. Amen. And it is a book that we can use, yes, to find encouragement, but it is a weapon that we need to use against the enemy of our soul. Amen. Hebrews 4.12 tells us that the word is quick and powerful, which means that it is here that we can find that the word is able to eradicate anything. That has no business in our life. Right. That's how powerful the word is. It can eradicate and move out of your life anything that has no business in your life. Amen. You know, there are times that we allow stuff in our life that has no business in our life. Right. But you begin to read the word of God and it will expose things to you. Yeah. Amen. It, it will reveal things to you. Amen. It will show you things. Yeah. About yourself yeah. Have you ever read the Bible And the word begins to reveal some stuff yes, To you yes, yes, About sir. you yes. Amen don't, don't read the Bible to try to find out About somebody right. else right. Read it to find out About you right. Amen There is no substitute To victory right. All of us want victory yeah. There's not one of us here that does not want to walk in victory. Amen. But there is no substitute to victory without planting the word of God in your heart. Uh, yes. Amen. amen. You, you can try to avoid the pressures of life, amen, through willpower alone, but it's not going to work. No. Amen. The word of God is the thing that carries the power of God to uproot the problems in our life. <laughs> Amen. And bring transformation in our life. Thank God for willpower. Oh, yes. But willpower won't get you the victory that you need over troubles and circumstances and difficulties. It is the word of God. That's why we need to declare the word of God. Speak the word of God. Amen. The media would want us to speak nothing but what we see in the news, in the newspaper. Amen. On the television, the radio. But we need to get back to declaring the word of God. Yes. Amen. There's something powerful about the word. Amen. I'm telling you, the word of God will uproot stuff out of your life. Amen. It will give you victory over things that's trying to destroy you, tempt you, distract you. Praise God. We need to get back to declaring what thus saith the word of God. Amen. I said we need to get back to declaring what thus saith the word of God. God has always defended his word. He will always back up his word. He doesn't back up opinions. He backs up his word. And we need to get to a place that we start declaring not what we feel but what we know amen, amen. Right, right. I, I know how I feel at times just like you I feel at times tired I feel weary I feel frustration I feel distress but I don't need to speak and declare all of that I need to speak and declare what the word says I said what the word says Thank God for his word and thank God for his word. Yes, sir. This is why we should declare the word of God. You see, words carry creative ability. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. The power to create comes from having faith in what you say. Mm -hmm. mm, I said, Eddie, I said, the power to create mm -hmm, comes from having faith in what you say. Right. Mm. Right. We need to have faith in what we yes, say. Yes, sir. Right. Amen. You can believe negatively and create a negative outcome. That's right. Or you can believe positively 
and create a positive supernatural outcome. Mm -hmm. You see, your heart, your spirit works to bring you closer to the thing you believe within your heart. Right. What, what do we really believe in our hearts? Amen. Do we really believe the word of God? Yeah. Amen. Has media in the world. Amen. The propaganda cause us not to believe the word of God. Amen. The devil knew what he was doing a long time ago when he took the word out of school. Because mm -hmm. he knew if these, these children get the word in them. Amen. They're not going to just be professional lawyer, lawyers and uh, professional people with integrity. But some of these people going to come out of the classrooms as preachers and preachers' wives. Amen. 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 I thank God for the word, church. Yes. Yes. Amen. The word still works. Yes. The word yes. still has power. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. He going to back his word up, church. Yes. Amen. We need to get excited about his word. Yes. Amen. Praise God. You see, you can believe negatively if you want. Amen. Whatever you be to be, excuse me, whatever you view to be true starts with a thought or a mindset that you have accepted. Amen. What kind of mindset have we accepted? Yeah. Amen. I, I want to accept the kind of mindset that God wants me to have. Amen. Yes, Amen. There, 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 there's something happening in the atmosphere that wants us to have a mindset to agree and believe and accept whatever the world says is right. right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. I said there's a spirit in the world right now yeah. that wants us to accept everything that the world says is right. right. I don't want that kind of mindset. Right. I want the kind of mindset that God wants me to have. Amen. We, we need to get the kind of mindset that God wants us to have so we can declare his word. Amen. Speak his word. Amen. There's power in the word of God. Look at Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Amen. We know this verse. Paul says, and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Amen. We often in the church, we have so often heard the statement, renew your mind. Renew your mind. But what does that really mean? What, what does that really mean? The process, let me explain what it really means. The process of renewing your mind involves transforming your thinking by accepting the promises in God's word as truth yeah. over your current and your past experience. Amen. 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 And the more that we begin to meditate and declare the promises of the word of God, your perspective about a situation will change mm -hmm. and what will also happen is you will begin to see things through God's eyes mm -hmm. we, we see stuff through the eyes of the world God says I want you to see things through my eyes I, I want you to see things through how I see things praise God but we got to declare the promises of God's word amen you say well how do I know in my faults are being transformed. You see, transformed thinking results in a total change in your life's perspective. Mm. Amen. You, you know your mind has been transformed when the word of God becomes the dominant thought and filter of everything you experience in life. Mm. See, see, we got to base everything on the word. That's right. Everything has to be filtered through the word. Yeah, right. What does God say Amen. in this matter? Right. Amen. And you know, there's an answer to everything in the book. Yes, right. To everything, there's an answer in the book. Yeah. Amen. Right. Every Everything has an answer based on what's in the word. Right, right. And we need the word. Amen. We need to believe the word. We need to trust the word. Yeah. Amen. And you know, your thoughts have been transformed when everything you view, you see it through the lens of of the word. What does the book say? If the book says it's wrong, it's wrong. 
Amen. I said, if God's word said it is wrong, right. it is wrong. I don't wrong. care Amen. if the politician says it's right. That's right. Amen. 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 I, I don't care if your family says it is right. That's right. If God's word says it's wrong, it's wrong. Amen. 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 It's wrong. Amen. If his word says it's right, it's right. Amen. We got to get back to the book. Amen. 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 I said we got to get back to the book. Yes. The B-I-B-L-E. Yes. That's the book for me. Amen. The Bible stands for basic instructions before leaving earth. Amen. And if you think that you're going to remove the word from your life and make it to heaven, it's impossible. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Yeah. He delighted in his way. Amen. Amen. The word is a lamp yeah. to my feet and a light to my back. In this dark hour we're living in, you better let the word be the lamp to your feet. Uh, I said, in this dark hour, you better let the word be the lamp to your feet. Not your opinion, not your feelings, not what people say, but what the word says. Amen. 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 One of the reasons people right now are being trapped and tormented with fear is because they are looking at situations from Satan's perspective. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll make a suggestion in your mind that confirms to exactly currently what you feel and see in the natural. Amen. But we got to remember. Somebody say, I got to remember. That the word of God never, the word of God never determines where you are going based on where you are right now. Amen. Amen. Uh, you may not feel like much happening in your life right now, but God's word is able to make a way out of no way. Amen. I, I thank God for the word. Amen. The enemy, yes, he'll bring a thought in your mind which is contrary to what you believe in. Amen. Amen. But when you choose to believe God's word, when you choose to declare what God's word says, you are resisting the ideal of it being any other way. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, there's no other way but God's way. Amen. And the biggest deception of the enemy is when you come to declaring the word of God in your situation. That, 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 that it's not going to be this way. Amen. There, there are people who have declared the word of God. My family will be saved. Amen. Mm -hmm. And because they have declared that by faith, God has brought it to pass. Amen. Amen. There's power in the word of God. But see, we want to declare it and want it to happen like tomorrow. Right. But sometimes it may not happen tomorrow. Amen. You got to still keep declaring what his word says. Right. Amen. It may not happen tomorrow. It may not happen next month. But you just keep declaring what God's word says. Right. Amen. There's power in the spoken word. Right. Amen. There's power in the word of God. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah. Look at Jeremiah 32 verse 27. Amen. Behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? We, we have gotten to a point that we believe that there's just certain things that's impossible for God. There is nothing too hard. For, notice what he, he said, behold, I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Amen. Amen. There is nothing too hard for God. Amen. 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 Each situation that you find yourself confronted with. Amen. There, there is an opportunity for you to declare and exercise the word and believe that it can change. Right. It can be better. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The beginning of your faith may start off weak at times. Right. Amen. It may start off shaky at times. 
Amen. But your faith will become stronger the more you read the word. Amen. Your faith will become stronger the more you speak the word. Yeah. Your faith will become stronger the more you meditate on God's word. Your faith will be stronger the more you listen to God's word. I said your faith will be stronger the more you declare God's word. The more you declare it, the more you read it, the more you meditate on it. Your faith will be strengthened. You know why we got a lot of people whose faith is not strengthened? Is weak. They anemic spiritually speaking because they do not read the word. They do not meditate on the word. They do not declare the word of God. Right. There's something about declaring the word. There's something about speaking the word in the atmosphere. Amen. I said there's something powerful about speaking the word of God in the atmosphere. Amen. The devil don't like when you start speaking the word in the atmosphere. He, he wants you to go by what you feel. Right. He wants you to go by what you see. Uh -huh. He wants you to go by what you saw on Facebook. Yeah, right. He wants you to go by what you saw on TikTok. Yeah. He, he wants you to go by the media. He wants you to go by the advertisement. Right. But we don't go by but what, what we see. No. Right. Amen. We go by what we know. Amen. Right. Amen. And sometimes you got to quote the word, speak the word, meditate the word when you don't feel like doing nothing else. Uh, you got to speak it. You got to quote it. You got to meditate on it day and night. But the quickest way to get out of discouragement is to speak the word. That's right. One of the quickest ways to get out of discouragement, depression, loneliness is to start declaring the word of God as it relates to your situation. There, there is, there's an answer to every kind of situation that we face in life. And we need to find the scriptures to what we're dealing with and then start speak the word according to that situation. When fear come upon you, you got to start declaring the word. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of soundness of mind. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. Amen. You got to start quoting the word, speaking the word. Amen. Praise God. Stop, stop quoting and speaking all this negativity. You know, I feel sometimes one of the reasons why God's people are so depressed all the time. Because we quote and speak all this negative stuff that we see all the time. Amen. That we hear all the time. Amen. You get around people to talk negative and therefore you talk negative. Right. Amen. You watch negative stuff and therefore you speak negativity. Right. Amen. Praise God. You get on the phone and you listen to people talk negative and before you know it, you speak a negative. Praise God. And then fear comes upon you. And then you don't know what to do. You got to speak the word. Amen. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, but of power, but of what? But of power, but of power. But I got power. I don't have fear. I got power. I got power out of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. What, what are we declaring? So what are we declaring? Why should we declare the word of God? It's powerful. I said the word of God is powerful. You got to believe it though. You got to believe it though. Amen. Yes. Your faith may start weak at times, but the more you read the word, quote the word. Amen. When you feel loneliness, come on, you start speaking the word. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, when you start feeling lonely, he said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Lo, will I be with you to the very end. You got to speak the word by faith. You got to speak it like you believe it. You got to speak it like it has the authority that's within it. Praise God. We quote it like we doubt it. Uh, I said we quote it like we doubt it. You got to quote it like you believe it. There is no weapon formed against me that shall prosper. Uh, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess. Amen at the name of Jesus. Amen. Even Abraham, his faith grew. Amen. The Bible says, look in, 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 in Romans chapter 4, verse 20, and I'm going to read it from the Amplified Complete. It speaks of Abraham and says, no unbelief or distrust made him waver, doubtingly questioned concerning the promise of God. Amen. But he grew strong 
and was empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. It says that Abraham grew strong in faith, which means where his faith started is not where it ended. Amen. Amen. Growth means progress or development. Yes. Amen. And we know the Bible says that God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Amen. But it's your responsibility to ensure that your faith grows. Amen. It's your responsibility. Amen. To ensure that your faith is developing. Amen. And when you speak God's word, the power and the anointing that lies within it begins to reconstruct your thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. It begins to reconstruct your heart, your mind, yeah. and your outcome, and yeah. your outlook on life. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's why your flesh don't want to speak the word. Right. Amen. Because when you start speaking the word, it starts reconstructing things. Amen. In the beginning, he said, let there be light when there was darkness and there was a reconstruction of all the darkness and there was light. Amen. 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 There's power in the word of God. Don't doubt it. I said, don't doubt it. I said, do not doubt the word of God. Amen. He said, forever, O oh Lord, Thy word is settled in heaven. In other words, if he said it, that settles it. If he said it, that settles it. Lean not to your own understanding. But in all your ways, just keep acknowledging him. How can I acknowledge him? Just keep declaring his word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just keep declaring his word. I said, just keep declaring his word. Amen. Amen. When you confess it, when you declare it, you are releasing faith to begin to work in your life. Amen. Amen. We got to declare his word. Amen. I said, we got to declare his word. You got to start speaking the word. I don't, I don't have much to say. We'll just start saying the word. Right. Wow. I, I'm at a loss of words. Just start speaking the word. Right. Amen. Amen. Just start declaring the word. Right. I don't know what to say. Just start declaring. Yeah. I declare. According, matter of fact. And, and if you don't know, if you ain't got much word memorized, just start reading. Right. 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 Start reading it till you start memorizing it. Right. Then after you start memorizing it, you can start quoting. Right. Right. Mm, well, I, I, I speak and declare according to Isaiah. Yes. 54 17. I declare, I declare no weapon yes. that is formed against me shall prosper. I declare every tongue that shall rise up against me in judgment shall be condemned. I declare, I declare, because God, you said, God, this. I'm not saying what the media said. I'm declaring what you said, Lord. I declare, you said, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. That's what I declare. I declare, God, that you shall cause me to overtake and recover all that the enemy has stolen from me. I declare, God, you will make a way where there seems to be no way. I declare, God, you will give me the strength and the power to run and be not weary. I declare to walk and not faint. I declare this is what you say, God. God gonna back up when you start declaring his word. I declare I declare that the heavens and the earth, I declare that the heavens and the earth will favor me. I declare that the angels of the Lord will encamp round about me. I declare they will minister to me and protect me from harm. I declare they will go before me and behind me. I declare they will make a way for me and make a straight way for me. I declare based on the word of God. I declare. I declare. I declare. I declare, I declare, I'm going through on the job, but I declare, 
out that the doors of opportunity will manifest in my life. I declare that the favor of the Lord will surround me. I declare this. I declare this. I believe this. I declare you're going to put a shield around about me. I declare, God, you're going to manifest opportunities. I declare, God, I declare the favor of the Lord is going to surround me. God, you're going to bless me financially, God. I declare this, God. I declare you're going to bless my health, God. I declare, God, you're going to bless my relationships, God. I declare you're going to give me a successful marriage, God. I declare you're going to bless my family, God. I declare, God, you're going to help me fulfill my career, God. I declare. I know what I'm feeling, but I, I'm not declaring what I feel. I'm tired, but I'm not declaring I'm tired. I'm declaring that the Bible said, my strength is made perfect in weakness. I declare, I declare, I declare your word. I declare your word, God. I declare your word. And when you declare his word, and you live it according to his word, but don't misunderstand me, you declare his word when you're not living his word. You got to live his word to declare his word. And when you start living his word, declaring his word, God gonna back up his word. Mm -hmm. I declare, I declare by faith I will walk in the abundance of God's grace. I declare mercy on my life. I declare blessings to overflow my life. Hallelujah. I declare, I declare. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I declare. I declare that the Lord will give me the desires of my heart. That's the word. He said, I will give you the desires of your heart. I declare, God, that you're going to give me the desires of my heart. I declare you're going to make my plans succeed, God, because my plans are what you want to make. My plans is not my will, but thy will be done. And I declare, God, my ways to you, God, I declare you have going to establish my steps. I declare. I declare. I declare. You need to stop declaring all that negativity. Amen. You need to make up your mind. I, I, I'm not going to wake up every morning declaring the stuff I've been declaring. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wake up and start declaring the word of God. Amen. I'm declaring them children that are not living right. I'm declaring they're going to be living for God. I'm declaring they're going to have a fire in them about God. I, I declare this. I believe this. I'm trusting your word. What, what are we going to declare? What are we going to declare? Amen. I declare, God, I declare, I declare that you're going to bless me with peace. Mm, I, I declare you're going to bless me with peace. God, that surpasses all human understanding. I'm declaring that God, joy is going to be my strength, God. I'm declaring you're going to keep me, God, in perfect peace because my mind is stayed on you, God. I declare your word, God, is going to back up his word. I declare you're going to keep me in perfect peace. I might be going through the trial of my life, but I declare, God, you're going to keep me in perfect peace. Your word said it, God. Amen. I declare, I declare, I declare, God. I declare that you're going to heal me, God, of all disease. I declare, God, you're going to restore my health, God. I declare because by your stripes I am here. I declare you are going to renew my strength, God, like eagles, because your word said it, God. I declare I'm going to run one day and not be weary because your word said it, God. Because your word said it. Amen. You can be in a dark, gloomy place, but you start declaring the word. Yeah. 
you start speaking the word, something will come over you. Something will come in your home. Something will come in your car. Something will come in your bathroom. Something will come in that shower. Wherever you are, when you begin to declare the word of God, stop declaring everything the media says. We declare everything the media says. We think the world coming to an end. You 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 declare everything the media says. You be terrified to come out of your house. Amen. 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 The angels of the Lord. And kept around about me. Yes, sir. And yes. even when I'm going through stuff that doesn't make sense, yes, sir. Yes. I declare. Yeah. Yes. I declare. Hallelujah. You making a way. Yes. I don't know. Amen. I declare. Yes. I declare. Yes. I declare. Yes. Amen. Yes. We must declare the word of God. Yes. Amen. Life and death are in. The power of your tongue. Amen. What are you saying with your tongue? Jesus. Mm. I declare God. I declare God. I declare you're going to grant me victory over every challenge. I declare God. You are going to grant me victory over every challenge, over every obstacle. You're going to give me strength, God, to overcome every trial, every temptation. I declare it. I declare it. I will walk in the power of your spirit. I declare I am going to live a victorious life. I declare it. I declare, I know what they're saying, but I don't care what they say. Right. Because I know what you say, God. Yeah, right. you, you, your God can speak to you and tell you something, but if you ain't careful, you will get to listen to what people tell you right. and talk you right out of your miracle. Right. Talk you right out of your promise. Right. Amen. 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 But I declare, I declare, my family will be blessed. My home will be blessed. I declare. I declare. Amen. God gonna protect me. Amen. I declare. I plead the blood over my house. I remember the time we lived in a home. Man, folk was breaking in the house like they were going out of style. <laughs> Broke in this neighbor's house. Broke in that neighbor's house. Broke in this neighbor's house. Broke in that neighbor's house. But they didn't break in my house. Yeah. Amen. 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 And when they was breaking in this house and breaking in that house and breaking in that house, breaking in that house, I wasn't going on. They going there. They get ready to break in my house. They get ready to break in my house. No, I wasn't saying that. Yeah. No. Because I wasn't about to put that in the atmosphere. Yeah. I said, this is your house, God. Yeah. All right. yes, Hallelujah. And if they got enough nerve to come up in your house. Amen. 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 I declare. Amen. Amen. What what are we declaring? I said, what are we declaring? Are we really declaring the word of God? Are we just declaring what we feel? And that's that's what we're really doing half the time. We we walk around declaring what we feel. We run around declaring what we feel, what we think, what we see. And we wonder why God not moving like he wanna move. Amen. Amen. Sometimes you got to declare it when you don't feel like it. Amen. 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 God is going to back this book up. Yes, he will. Don't do it. One word is not going to fall from this book. Everything. He going to back this book up. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will abide forever. I know what I see. Jesus. I know what I hear. And I know what I feel. But Lord, I declare right now, in the face of the situation, I declare your word, God. I declare your word. Let's all stand. Why should we declare the word? Because it's the sword of the spirit. It's a weapon. It's a weapon. Amen. It's more powerful than a nine millimeter. Amen. 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 
It's more powerful than an AK-47. It's more powerful than a Tomahawk cruise missile. Mm -hmm. It's more powerful than a nuclear bomb. That's right. Amen. 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 Can you imagine the explosive kind of power that could be ignited if just a, a group of God's people could just start quoting and speaking the word by faith? Can you imagine what can happen in the atmosphere when doubt trying to cripple people's lives, fear trying to destroy them, depression trying to take them out? Can you imagine what, what feeling the atmosphere with the word of God will do? That's why two men were able to do what they did. Oh, yeah. Joshua and Caleb. They went in to the promised land. Amen, glory. Just two. We be well able. Why were they saying that? Because God already told them they could do it. Other ones, we be not able. We be not able. We be not able. Right. I said, I'm tired of hearing that. Right. That whole generation gonna die off. Yeah, we be not able. Yeah. Joshua Caleb said, I know what I see right. is more of them than it is of us. Right. Uh -huh. But God already said, we can do this. Right. Amen. 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 Little as much when God is in it. Amen. 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 There's power in the word. And we got to quote the word. Stop. I, I, I'm going to help somebody right now. Stop declaring, magnifying, confessing what you're feeling all the time. Stop declaring magnifying, confessing what you feeling all the time. Yeah, right. Amen. 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 Oh, yes. And God know we got feelings. I ain't trying to underestimate our feelings. Feelings real. But feelings will get you in trouble. Amen. You go by your feelings, you be running on top of, my husband don't love me no more. <laughs> My wife don't love me no more. Before you know it, you be speaking that in the atmosphere, and here come Mr. Good Looking. <laughs> Amen. 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 Stop magnifying, magnifying what you feeling all the time. Yeah, that's good. I, I feel the Holy Ghost. He's talking right now. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is what's happening with God's people. We magnifying, declaring, and confessing what we feel. That's right. Yes. Not what we know. That's right. Yes. That's right. The more you magnify what you see, we be not able. Amen. 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 When you start magnifying his word, he give you a sixth sense. Jesus. A sense to see in the spirit realm. Yes, he will. Amen. Amen. He'll give you a spiritual sense to see things the average person cannot see. Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I declare. I declare. I know the creditors come. But I declare. I declare. I declare. There ain't, there ain't much in the pot, but I declare by faith. Amen. You're going to do something, God. Amen. But now understand, don't run with this and think, oh, I'm just going to start declaring and you living like the devil. Amen. Right. 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 See, this, this is where the secular world, oh, I'm going to just start declaring. Right. Amen. God ain't backing nothing up, nobody declaring, running around living like a devil. Right, right, right. 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 Amen. He ain't backing that up. Right. He gonna back his word up. Yeah, he, he gonna back his word. But he ain't backing up that life you living. Up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But I declare your word. God. I'm striving to do the best I can, God. I know my flesh is weak, but you said, you said, God, I, I know my flesh weak. 
but you see how high you see God. My strength. My strength. You see your strength, God. It's made perfect in my weakness. So give me some strength right now, God. Give me some strength right now, God. To make it through this situation I'm going through. Lift your hands. I lift your hands right now. The presence of God is just swept in. Mm. God, I confess, I repent, God, I've been declaring stuff. I ain't had no business declaring.